you prefer, Star Wars or Star Trek? Hey, it's Hurricane Liz here, interviewing the man, the myth, the legend. Alex, I just had to say this. I haven't told anybody this, but you know what you remind me of? Who? Have you ever seen the most interesting man in the world? Oh. <laughs> you remind me of a younger version of him. But Thank you. not just because of the beard. I feel that you are one of the most interesting men in the world. And that's one of the reasons that we came out here to see you in San Francisco. I'm super excited to be here. I know Joe's excited to be here. Joe's behind the camera, so he's recording that. And we've got your dog also, who Lexi. seems to think you are the most exciting man in the world as well. <laughs> but I think it's primarily for the fact that you do all these things behind the scenes. Not many people actually know that, but right. it's one of the most admirable things about you. But I think we want to give everybody out there kind of a more intimate look into who actually Alex Mayer is. Okay. So I kind of wanted to start by just asking you some things about what, what's your background? Like, how did you get into this? How did yeah. you find internet marketing? So interestingly enough, I didn't, when I was growing up, I didn't know much about entrepreneurship or didn't really plan to become an entrepreneur. I was, I grew up thinking I would be a scientist, a physicist specifically. So I grew up in a rural town north of Iran. So I was kind of like cut off from everything. It was like village type, like small town. Um, and this is pre-internet. So my, uh, my window to the world were books and specifically my dad's physics books because my dad was a high school physics teacher. So I grew up, that's, just knowing physics and uh, you know that put me on a certain path in life I was like I'm gonna be if you if I, if I were five years what if you asked me when I was five years old what you what I wanted to do when I grew up I would have told you I wanted to be a physicist and I wanted to work at NASA so um, I ended up getting a PhD become a scientist not in physics uh, but and in engineering but then also, I was able to work at NASA, so I kind of, wow. yeah, that was kind of like my life path. That's the first part of my life. So, right. yeah, I tell I started as an entrepreneur relatively late. So, I had to first immigrate Im immigrate to the United States, and then I had, I went to graduate sc school, did a ton of research, I did postdoc, uh, and I went and worked at NASA for two years before I started my first company. Awesome. Yeah. So, ladies, not only is he interesting, but he's also very smart. <laughs> uh, and so, what actually got you into entrepreneurship? How did you find it? So, um, the first time I kind of got intrigued by the idea is uh, after I immigrated to the United States. I was uh, 21 years old, uh, in, and I was a student in grad school. And there was an entrepreneurship event at the university. They were giving free pizza. So I went there for the pizza. Uh, <laughs> now we know the way to your heart, Alex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Food is exactly the way to my heart. Um, and um, I learned a little bit about it. The idea was interesting. Um, we took a, my uh, classmates and I, we took my PhD research and turned it into a software. And then we submitted a business plan to that event later on it took us about a month or so so we won the business plan competition uh, we even had people who were interested in investing in it that was my first exposure uh, but then I could not actually start a company because I was on student visa uh, so uh, the immigration we went to an immigration lawyer so we had the company like ready to go we had potential customers we had potential investors we had just completed a business plan competition we had written the software um, and uh, the business, the immigration lawyer told us to just kill it and go get jobs and figure out our immigration first. So that's really what happened. So wow. we shut down the company, we should, you know, uh, each one of us went separate path. Uh, I ended up working, uh, finishing my degree, going and working for, micro, uh, for NASA. My uh, classmate, my college uh, graduate school roommate, he went and worked for Microsoft. And he got his immigration figured out through Microsoft. I got my immigration figured out. And then the two of us got together a few years later and started a company that actually became Zeus over time. Zeus, so. that's amazing. I think I was actually on Zeus for a little bit. So yeah. I can imagine mostly everyone out there has been on Zeus. Yeah. It was before the Tinder days, actually. Yes, yes. And you know, one of the things that you said 
just a minute ago was super interesting to me. That was the fact that back then, you took an entire month to create a business plan. Yes. Whereas today, what you're whole showing yeah. and the whole basis of Alex and you, could you explain yeah. to people what it basically is? Yeah, so the idea is uh, trying to guess what market wants and what market really, what product works, how the market dynamics, competitive dynamics actually pan out is so difficult that nobody can really answer it, predict it ahead of time. So every second that you put into trying to predict the market is a second that's wasted in trying to understand the actual market reaction. So instead of trying to say, okay, so market is composed of people that look like this, therefore they would want this, I would say, I would put the product or the idea, what I say, the idea of the product first in front of people and see how they actually react. Does that make sense? So. I don't try to predict the market, I try to react to it. So I put the product or the idea there, the concept out there, and then I see how, mar how market reacts. Uh, I, try to I have tried in the past to force my will on the market, it never works. I have tried in the past to try to predict the market even, it doesn't work. So just stop it. Like basically create the idea, uh, put it in front of the market, see if the market wants it. Absolutely, that's, that's pretty amazing. So I think the one million dollar question that everybody out there probably wants to know, I know I think I've heard a brief summary of it, but how did you and Ty Lopez get together and create this company that you have right now? Yeah, so Ty and I met many years ago. So I, so Zeus blew up because we were literally the first dating company that bet on the idea of apps. So this is even before iPhone, we bet on Facebook apps. So that was our competitive edge and uh, uh, Zeus blew up and I met Ty in an online dating conference. Believe it or not, there is such thing as online dating or it is a yeah, conference Yeah, for people that are in the online dating industry. And we were on a panel, um, with, I was on a panel with Ty and a bunch of other people. Ty was obviously a very interesting speaker. And we talked about a bunch of things. Afterwards, we talked about books specifically. Um, he had read a ton of books. I am a big book lover myself. And all my life, I had walked around, met people. Nobody had read as many books as I had until I met Ty. Wow. So I'm like, damn, man. So that's how we became friends. Here's probably another interesting question. Now, are you a thorough book reader or are you a skimmer? So not, very few books are worth reading cover to cover. So my life is more important than that book. As a matter of fact, I can tell you, uh, publishers, they have a certain formula uh, for books that kind of forces the author to sometimes fill up books with fluff. So I am not gonna let the publisher uh, dictate my reading habits. So I just read what is needed, so. What would be your top absolute must have, we'll say top three to five books that you think every single entrepreneur should definitely read? Entrepreneur, specifically. Entrepreneur. Yeah, so uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People to me has been an amazing book. Influence Robert Cialdini. Um, uh, definitely Think and Grow Rich, even though it sounds uh, like a cliche, but it's an amazing book. Um, I want to say, in addition to that, I like the book uh, The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins. It's not about entrepreneurship, but to me, entrepreneurship is just part of, like, you need to understand the world. You need to understand the world around you, why we are here, what we do. So, and that book kind of explains the background. Those are some of my uh, principles by Ray Dalio. It's another good yes. book that recently came out. So, all of these are great books. Now, I'm going to ask a magical question here. What do you prefer, Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars by far. Yeah. <laughs> I know everybody out there listening to this is gonna love that answer. And the final question that I have for you, and then Joe can add anything he thinks uh, I missed, but what is it that you think and why is it that you believe that every single person out there that wants to learn how to do Facebook ads and or start a new business, right. just as you've showed us how you can start it, speed of implementation of one right. of the most important concepts right. there is, but what is what makes Alex Engine so special? Uh, I think this is what this is. I guess this is what makes the methodology special. Uh, I wasted many years of my life 
just trying to chase ideas, figure things out, right? And it, over time, I became super efficient at it. And the one thing that none of us can, the only resource that doesn't, you cannot regenerate is time. So the, the whole idea here is I hated what I see entrepreneurs wasting uh, their lives or their monies uh, on things that the market doesn't want. So this, this is literally a way to quickly see, okay, is this a good idea or not, and, and move on to the next idea. Because end of the day, you and I are more important than, than a specific product idea. So I see entrepreneurs get just put themselves in the bucket of a specific product, and sometimes it works out great because they just were lucky. But a lot of times they end up going into the wrong bucket and they just think through the sheer, through sheer willpower or force or hustling, they can make it better somehow by digging deeper. It doesn't work out. So uh, if anything, if I can do one thing for people is I can save them a ton, cut years from the learning curve, basically. Uh, things that it would take you uh, three years of your life and multiple bankruptcies to learn on your own, uh, I can, you can do in a couple weeks. So that's Amazing. the idea. Yeah. Amazing. Well, there you have it, guys. Alex Engine coming soon to you. And as I said before, I had a heck of a time hanging out with you here the whole day. Did you like it? I learned an incredible amount of things that I'm going to be able to take home and implement into my business. And so I'm excited because you've given me the ability to, as you and Ty are doing, if I want to implement a business a day. And I know everybody out there that's listening will have that same ability because of this framework that you're going to put into place. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the idea is very simple. Uh, sometimes you see entrepreneurs from outside and it feels like they are actually performing a mere act of, it looks miraculous, but it's not. There is just like a magician, or if you know what they're doing behind the scenes, it is brain that simple. It's just about laying down the system. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do with this. Welcome to our team, welcome to our office. Just a little tidbit. The reason I picked this office uh, for Mentor Box is, uh, and it was actually a little bit too, uh, too expensive for this company in the early days, but I decided to pick it because Zeus grew on 10th floor of that bit. So this is Trans America building, obviously, right here. And that is, uh, I grew Zeus from five or six people to 110 people, wow. 10th floor of that building. Mm -hmm. So this intersection is a very special intersection to me. So I was like, ah, just <laughs> right across the street. Maybe there's something magical about it. So I'm a scientist, but I'm allowed to be superstitious once in a while. <laughs> Absolutely. So awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for having us. All right, us. thank you. Thanks for, thank welcome you. to my team. All right, thank you.